Hello, my name is Alana and welcome to day four of 28 days of self-love yoga, where I am posting a 15 minute yoga flow every day for the month of February, each with its own self-love focused affirmation. Uh, if you missed the first few videos in this series, I will have the playlist linked in the cards cards, <laughs> as well as linked at the end of this video if you would like to check those out. And if you would like to continue this challenge with us this month, be sure to be subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you know when I post a video every single day this month. Today's video is going to be focused on detoxing and de-stressing through some twists through the upper body. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you will need one block, uh, but that's it. And if you don't have a block, just grab something of similar size and shape. So let's go ahead and come to standing at the top of the mat. Placing your feet at hip width distance apart and rolling your shoulders down and back away from the ears. Maybe closing down the eyes and repeating to yourself, I choose to stop apologizing for being me. I choose to stop apologizing for being me. On your next inhale, reach both arms up and overhead and grab onto the right wrist. Inhale to lengthen through the right fingertips and exhale, lean towards the left stretching through the right side body here and breathing into the space. Inhale to rise back through center and bend into the right knee, drawing it into the chest at a 90 degree angle. Finding your balance on the left foot here, inhale to lengthen through the fingertips and exhale slowly twist right fingertips back, left fingertips forward, opening the chest towards the right. Inhale back through center and exhale, cross right elbow, right knee over the left. Maybe double binding at the wrist and the ankle, coming into eagle pose, pulling the elbows away from the chest to stretch through the backs of the shoulders. Keeping the arms as they are, inhale to draw the knee back up and last pose on this side. Extend right leg back, lower the torso parallel with the mat, coming into warrior three with eagle arms for three, two, and one. Release everything down to the mat, forward fold. Maybe lift up onto those left toes a few times. Say, I'm sorry, ankle, <laughs> before moving to the second side. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale to fold. Inhale to slowly rise up to standing, and roll your shoulders down and back. Coming back into Dadasana, and internally repeating, I choose to stop apologizing for being me. I choose to stop apologizing for being me. Inhale, reach both arms up and overhead and grab a hold of the left wrist. Lengthen through the left fingertips and exhale, lean to the right. Stretching through the left side body and noticing how this side might feel a little different and that's okay. Inhale to come back through center, keeping arms lifted, bend into the left knee, drawing it in towards the chest at a 90 degree angle. Inhale to lengthen through the fingertips and exhale, twist to the left, left fingertips back, right fingertips forward. Engaging through the core, inhale brings you back through center and exhale, cross left elbow, left knee over the right, maybe double binding, pulling the elbows away from the chest to stretch through the shoulders. Finding one point, not moving, to focus on to maintain your balance here. 
keeping the arms as they are. Inhale to bring the left knee back into the chest and exhale, send the left foot back, warrior three with eagle arms. Exhale, release everything down to the mat. Coming into a forward fold, bending into your knees and grabbing onto opposite elbows and swaying from side to side. Plant the right fingertips in front of the right toes and bend into the right knee, drawing it to the tricep. And inhale, start to straighten through the left leg, reach the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, press the fingertips into your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to slowly rise up to standing and roll your shoulders down and back. From here, step your big toes to touch, heels apart. And inhale, both arms up and overhead. Exhale, sit the hips back into a chair, making sure that you can still see your big toes over your knees. Lengthen up through the crown of head and fingertips as you sink your root down farther. Inhale to lengthen through the fingertips and exhale, twist to the right. Right fingertips back, left fingertips forward. Inhale back through center and exhale, twist to the left. Left fingertips back. Inhale center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more. On each side. Both arms forward for three, two, and one forward fold. You can allow your feet to heel toe out to the outside edges of your mat and take your two piece fingers and hook it on your two big toes. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, flat back, and exhale, bend into the elbows, drawing the forehead down towards the floor. Release the grip of your two big toes and grab onto your block or block shaped thing and place it just behind your heels in the center of your mat. Angle your toes out off of your mat and slowly begin to bend into your knees, lowering the hips down, bringing hands through heart center, elbows to knees, Oh, did you hear my hip pop? Lowering your sits bones down onto the block, coming into yogi squat. Now, if this is enough for you, feel free to stay here. But if you want a little bit more twisting action, you can extend your right arm long, pointing your fingers down, and reach the left hand up and back, opening the chest towards the left and keeping the legs as they are. Bring the left hand back in, hands through heart center, and switch sides, extending the left hand down, right fingertips up, twisting towards the right. Bring both hands back through heart center before placing both hands back behind you removing the block from underneath you and lowering your hips down. 
extending both legs long and lowering down onto your back, hugging both knees into the chest, maybe rocking from side to side. Release the soles of feet down to the mat and reach down so that you can just barely graze your ankles with your fingertips. From here, grab onto the outer edge of your mat, tuck your shoulders underneath you and using your glutes and your inner thighs, begin to pull your hips up into a bridge. Exhale to slowly lower and drop both knees off to the right. Bring your arms out to a T. You can either continue looking up or look off to the left. Inhale to draw both knees back through center and exhale, drop the knees to the left. Maybe looking off to the right. Inhale back through center and hug both knees into your chest once more maybe reaching both hands on the inside of your knees to grab onto the outer edge of both feet and draw the soles of feet up to stand on the ceiling bending into the knees at a 90 degree angle for ba happy baby maybe playing with straightening one leg and then the other or taking any last little movement that your body might need today before allowing both legs to extend out long, resting your hands at your sides and bringing your awareness back to your breath as you internally repeat, I choose to stop apologizing for being me. I choose to stop apologizing for being me. Shavasana. Begin to bring energy back to your fingertips and toe tips. Maybe reaching both arms up and overhead before bending into both knees and rolling over onto your favorite side. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly press yourself up into a seat, whatever is most comfortable for you. And place your hands on your knees or bring your hands through heart center and take three final grounding breaths together, inhaling through the nose and exhaling to sigh out the mouth in three, two, one. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this practice today. If you liked this video, be sure to show me with your thumbs. And if you would like to continue on with this challenge this month, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below. And I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.